Okay, that was actually so exciting. Oh, is this his first ever waterfall he's seen? It's just a little yeah, one. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, look, it's a waterfall. <gasps> wow! <laughs> and I've had a cunning idea, and it might not work, but I can't see it going horribly wrong. Oh my goodness! Vlog. It is Monday, another start to a week in Costa Rica. We are down to like a month left here. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I feel like this week has been, there's been a better start than last week yeah. where we were still recovering from getting ill and just the exhaustion from the festival. Yeah. And I'm really excited this week to start looking at our land a bit more. We've just organized to meet with an architect and someone to help plan out our building and yeah and also just start loading our stuff into the container if you didn't see last week's vlog we got a 20 foot container dropped onto the land which is super exciting and i think tonight we lou and i kind of sat down before and like tried to figure out what we want but we're still we've been thinking about a lot changing a few things so i think tonight we're going to sit down with our little 3D render of our vision of what we'd like to build and keep working on it. So hopefully by the time we meet the architect, we have like a really good idea of what we want and then they can give us their opinions and what we need to change and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then the other thing I was saying is, I feel like we've mainly been focusing on connecting with our neighbors and like figuring out our land and that is the main reason we came here and what we're most excited about right now. But we're in Costa Rica and I feel like we need to explore more. I really want to go to a waterfall maybe do some kind of like animal rescue place. I feel like Neo would love that, seeing some amazing animals. So Please go to the beach more. Yeah, so basically, because I think now we're like on the second half of our trip, I feel like because the end is coming, it makes me really want to go and do more things. So hopefully this week we can go explore a little bit more as well. But yeah. yeah. Right now we're enjoying the pool. It's like 4 p.m. right now, and honestly during the day it's so sunny that it's hard to go in the pool with Neo because obviously we're trying to keep him out of the sun. But this time of day the sun dips a little bit and it's just the perfect time to cool off and go for a swim. So nice. So good. <laughs> Okay, it is dinner time. I thought I would show you what I'm making tonight because I made this up. I mean, I've kind of seen recipes like this, but a couple weeks ago we had nothing in the fridge and I just threw stuff together and it ended up being so good. So I'm gonna show you what I'm making. But first, I just wanna say, I was just reading the comments. We just uploaded our Envision vlog. <laughs> you have to try to get the tripod. And I just wanna say, thank you so much. The comments on our videos always are just so incredible, but just that one, I mean, that's the one I'm reading right now and I honestly was tearing up reading that because you guys are just so kind to us, so thank you. Honestly, it, I I just wanna say, <laughs> please try to make him laugh on the camera. I just wanna say it makes all the difference for me because there was a time when the comments on Louie's channel, I feel like when your channel's huge, back when like Louie's, some of his videos would go viral and get tons and tons of views, some of those comments were not kind and it made me, every time he was vlogging, it made me kind of like close up and because I felt like there was like a bully. The camera was representing a bully and I was didn't want to like let myself show to a bully, you know? But it's the complete opposite with our channel. I honestly feel like you guys are just the most genuine, sweet, caring, just the most incredible audience ever. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I, I, basically, I feel like that's why I feel comfortable on camera and I can just fully be myself because I feel loved and accepted by you all. So thank you. But anyway, back to dinner. Um, I'm just making pasta and I've got for Neo, I've got this red lentil pasta. Um, this is very expensive. I feel like this box was like $8 or something. So I'm not gonna make this for all of us because I need to just here quickly, but Neo can make this for multiple meals and we're just gonna have a normal linguine. Um, and then I'm gonna make a sauce with tofu, like a cheesy sauce with tofu and nutritionally yeast, garlic powder. Um, yeah, I'll show you in a second. 
Okay, you're balanced on a roll of paper towels right now, but I thought I would show you how I make the sauce. So the base of it is silken tofu. So you just get a box like this, a package, and then nutritional yeast for the cheesy flavor. I've just put it in like a yogurt um, jar. And also last time I did this, I just completely winged it and it was amazing, but I've looked up a recipe now that I can link for you guys so that you can actually copy it. It says four tablespoons nutritional yeast. That feels, oh wait, that's a teaspoon, okay. Four tablespoons, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, mm, that is not enough because I added a lot of this last time and it was so good. Um, and also you can always add this I mean, you just taste it and add more if you want, but this is what adds the really cheesy flavor. So if you like more cheese, then go for more of this. Um, and then there's garlic powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And half a teaspoon of onion powder. And a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay and a quarter of a teaspoon ground black pepper. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball this. Yeah, that's good. And half a juice of a lemon. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, okay. Oh, that would've been really bad. Probably do this in like a bowl or something first to make sure no seeds fall in, but okay. You can add a touch of vegan milk. Okay, so I'm gonna try to blend this, and if it's not blending well, then I'll add a touch of soy milk or something. That's okay. Okay, it's done. You can see it's super creamy. Taste it. Mmm. I'm gonna add a bit more nutritional yeast. But again, you can kind of play around with however you want. Mmm. Okay, right, that's really good. So this is like a white, creamy pasta sauce. Mmm. So good. And then, basically because Neo was sick last week, he honestly didn't really eat much last week. And I, with babies between 6 and 12 months, it's really important that they have high intakes of iron, so I wanted to make sure that I'm cooking very iron-rich foods this week to make up for the fact that he didn't really eat last week. So that's why I'm doing the red lentil pasta with this tofu sauce. It's very rich in iron, and then vitamin C helps you absorb iron, so I'm making some broccoli in the oven as well to add to it. I might blend um, Neo's broccoli up a little bit for him, but hopefully with red lentil pasta with a tofu sauce and broccoli, that's like uh, iron-packed meal for him. So hopefully he eats a good amount of it tonight. He's He's been okay with eating today. His teeth, even though he was in so much pain, they still haven't popped through those top two ones, so I'm just really hoping it comes soon so that he can feel better. But okay, I'm gonna plate this up and then show you how it looks. All right, this is the finished dinner. It's super, super creamy, I don't know if you can tell. So good, and then this is Mio's lentil pasta. Mio. <laughs> it might be too hot, is it okay? Yeah, so. Let's see if he likes it. He always has a funny face when he eats something for the first time. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Oh this. no. I think I just tried. This oh. a bit. It's, yeah. a, it's a good sign he was trying to put it back in though. Mmm. Do you like it? Mmm. Oh, he sorted it. Cats are crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's not giving any thought to where it's going to land. No. It's literally like, can I jump and reach that? It doesn't care that it's going to land in that plant pot. <laughs> you want some water? Uh. <laughs> Why are you blowing bubbles in your water? It's not drinking. <laughs> no, that's not drinking. Okay, you're done, I think. You're done. Yeah. Good morning. I have just woken up and me and Neo have driven down into Alegria to pick up our weekly produce from the farm. 
Let's do this. It is another beautiful day. Hola. <laughs> yeah, good. Just seeing all of this food. I just noticed this bed as well has been shaded. Okay. Oh, let's go home and see Mama. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mister. We decided. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we were heading down into Oratina just to do a bit of grocery shopping. Neo hadn't napped for like four hours, almost five hours. So we decided, why don't we just drive all the way to Atenas, which is where one of our favorite vegan restaurants is, Almendra. So we did, and Neo had a good nap on the way, and now we're about to order some delicious vegan food. What are we getting? Sushi, pizza, mac and cheese. Hopefully he'll like some of those things. <laughs> he loves it. Wow. <laughs> Food has arrived. We got mm. vegan sushi, pizza, and mac, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese with mm -hmm. tofu. We basically wanted to go with something a little bit different that we usually do here because we've kind of got our normal go tos. And Neo is enjoying the tofu. It's raining! Oh my gosh, it feels so good! <laughs> it's dry season right now, so it's very rare for it to rain during this time. But it just feels so good. It's obviously so hot and everything is so dry. You can see the grass behind me. It's not very happy, so all the plants, the trees and the grass, oh, everyone's, everyone's happy right now. <sighs> and it just feels so good. You know when it's like a really hot summer day and then it rains and you get to just Stand outside in the rain, that's what this is like. But it's been like months of the hottest summer day. Oh, do you love it, Neo? What's going on? What is it? What is it? Um. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It is Wednesday afternoon. Basically, Neo should be going down for a nap around this kind of time, so we try and time it that I come and do bits of work on the container whilst he's napping, and then it gives Raya uh, a little bit of a break so she's not constantly uh, having to look after him whilst I'm not there. This isn't a completely accurate way of doing this, but just so we can eyeball it, I'm gonna put some rocks along the line, which I think is the border of our lot which is where I've put the string and uh, yeah, we could just to gauge kind of how big our lot is. You can kind of see here that the, the gap here is bigger and narrower at the end, so we need to pull that end around to correct it. I've checked the app and Neo is still mid-nap, so I've got a bit of time before I need to go back and help Raya. Although we're not gonna use this end of the land, like this corner, probably for years, I am quite curious and I wanna strim back and try and run the string to see where the edge of the lot is, just so I can kind of get a, an idea of what we're working with. So I might just quickly grab the strimmer and spend kind of 10, 15 minutes strimming back this section. Uh, not all of it, but just kind of along the border, I think. Good morning. We are having breakfast and 
Raya is doing her Soul Cycle, which I think she's done like three or four times this week. We're basically alternating every other day doing like a morning workout and uh, we've been pretty consistent this week. I'm quite proud of us. If you don't know, that's one of the huge items we drove all the way down here from the US in the school bus. It survived sitting in the school bus for a year and uh, yeah, we've, we've <laughs> managed to get it in the car and brought it to this house we're staying in and uh, it's been a great source of enjoyment for Raya. I think it's her, one of her happy places. This morning we're doing porridge and papaya for Neo. Neo is getting very distracted. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> I just had to film my smoothie bowl because look at how beautiful this is. <gasps> These colors! Mmm, so good. It's lunchtime, mister. Lunchtime, mister. Hey, hey. Back on our land. The thing I need to do in the next maybe 15 minutes is basically the digger that flattened this area for the bus and for the container. Firstly, I do want them to kind of tug that into position. It's kind of off at a bit of an angle, so that needs tugged in. And then I also want a bit of leveling, maybe for three meters, the other side of the container, three or four meters, because at the moment it just slopes directly to the front and I kind of want a bit more space. So that's one thing, but more importantly, and this is something I've been talking about for ages, is leveling this area up here so we can get a better idea of how it's gonna look for when we build. Because this is the current location of where we feel like our first proper building is gonna be. The bus is gonna be parked up here. We're gonna have a roof over it. We're gonna have an outside kitchen and then a little block with a toilet and shower and laundry room. And that is going here. There's a huge rock in the way. We're gonna have to take that tree down. I've got some metal stakes, so I'm gonna put them in the ground and run a little red kind of tape, which I've been meaning to do for ages. But um, now that the digger's about to come over, I'm gonna do it now quickly. And uh, I'm quite excited about this. This is the first proper momentum we're getting on, on the build. And tomorrow, if all goes to plan, we're gonna meet up with an architect and a building company who's gonna give us some ideas, maybe put together a little proposal and sketch up some ideas according to our kind of dreams and plans, which we'll keep you guys in the loop with. And if you watched last video and you want the most up-to-date updates of what we're doing, uh, we'll link our Patreon below because we're gonna be doing real-time updates with photos and little video clips and stuff as it's happening. So you, you won't have to wait till the end of the week or the following week to hear what's going on. All right, first problem is trying to find exactly where our boundary is. This is one marker. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna try and measure back because we need to have a seven meter setback from this side of the lot. So let me try and do that now. I'm glad I'm doing this because the setback is actually further in than I thought it was gonna be, so I guess that's one of the reasons it's good to do this and figure it out properly. I'm gonna measure 12 meters from that point and that's potentially how far we want the, the property to come out to. Exciting. I need to leave some space for the digger to get through, but this final pin will kind of show the size of what we're wanting to do, roughly. Let's see if you can get a rough idea. Well, bit of a change of plan. The guy, Vinicio, who was gonna come and help flatten the area of land that I fenced off, uh, had to cancel on me today, but he said he's gonna be around tomorrow, so hopefully it'll get done tomorrow. Anyway, we just got home, we're gonna have some dinner. Check out the sky. Really hard to see how epic this looks on camera. Look at this. Also, listen to those parrots. They are up in one of those trees every night. 
as the sun set, we get this wild orchestra of birds. Yeah. She have some dinner? Meow. We just had a very good dinner and now we're having watermelon for dessert. We've eaten almost a whole watermelon. We might finish the whole one. And Neil loves it too. However, Louis just told me the craziest thing that I had to share with you. It's not that crazy. Because I have a plate in front of me, my dinner plate, where I've been putting all my seeds. And I was like, wait, where's your plate? Where, where do you put your seeds? Louis swallows all of his watermelon no, I seeds. I chew them. You chew them? Yeah. Are they gross? No, chew them and then chew them. Okay, Louis full on eats and chews his watermelon seeds. I know, Neo, it's crazy. Guys, tell me. I mean, am I the weird one here? I think there's more people, more people than you realize will eat their watermelon seeds. Okay, let us know if you eat your watermelon seeds or not. Because growing up, were you not told that if you eat a watermelon seed, you would grow a watermelon in your tummy? No, I saw that about apples. Oh. Oh, what's wrong, my love? You want more watermelon? Okay. Anyway, let us know what you think. Crazy. It is Friday. It's a very exciting day today. We have just driven down to our lot and we are meeting some people here that are gonna help us talk about what we're building. And we've just been talking about all of our non-negotiables, what we definitely want, and we'll fill you in once we've had a little chat with these guys because they know a little bit more what they're talking about. Okay, that was actually so exciting. I feel like that's the first thing we've done that's not just like having a Pinterest board and dreaming. That's the first like action we've taken to it becoming a reality. And it was really cool getting ideas from the architect and I feel like we're gonna go home and like just keep dreaming and we're working on that. Um, what's, it, what's that website called where we're doing the layout? Uh, home by me. We'll show you later, but it's a website where you can do like fully do a layout and put furniture and stuff. So that's a good way to visualize how big we want spaces, how, like where we want the living room and dining room, everything. So I think we have some different ideas now. We're gonna go home and like switch it up, but it's exciting. Okay, we are leaving Alegria for some lunch. Um, we've just ha been having some very exciting chats about kind of what the build's gonna look like and after chatting to Jose and Silas, just trying to figure out lots of potential things. So anyway, we're gonna carry on thinking and including you guys in the whole process. Yeah. But we're gonna go down to uh, Icovia San Mateo now and get some lovely, delicious lunch. <laughs> Neo. What does he think? How is it? Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> that was super quick. Lunch arrived. Soup. What even is this? Like a chickpea curry, yuca fries, salad. Amazing. Yes, yes. What is the soup? It's so good. It's uh, zucchini and potato. Oh, Thank you. Yum. Well, I've been uh, just dilly-dallying around on the land for the last hour or so, just measuring out the lot, the position where we're gonna build. But honestly, I'm feeling a bit bummed out because this guy that's gonna help me level the area at the top with his digger has basically been postponing all week. He phoned me or messaged me first thing Monday and then that didn't work out and then he was supposed to come Wednesday and then Thursday and now it's Friday and it's, I don't know, he said there was engine problems. I'm not angry at him, I'm just annoyed that the plans I kind of wanted to get done this week haven't been done. So although we've had a really good chat this afternoon about the land, uh, I just haven't made any progress today which feels slightly infuriating. So, one of the main things I wanted help with was dragging this container into position. And I've had a cunning idea and it might not work, but I can't see it going horribly wrong. I found these uh, heavy duty like lifting straps. I don't know whether they've got the same kind of strength as a tow strap for cars, but I've got a tow bar, I've got a four x four car. My theory is, why don't I just connect these onto the corner here 
and just see if I can drag it. I only need to drag it a little bit. I've seen the dangers of trying to tow something with a chain or something. I see why people would think that's a good idea because uh, it's stronger, but it looks super sketch and dangerous. At least if this snaps, it's not gonna break anything. new plan I'm gonna try and pull it from that angle I think I'm gonna give up. I, I think it would work if I was flat and uh, I wasn't at such a crazy angle with the car because the car is a mental angle. But I did, I did move it, look, I moved it at least a foot, like a foot and a half, which is great. And honestly, it might do it. We're do, I think I'm still just within the setback by 50 centimeters, but maybe I can just get away with that. Hello, good morning. It is a very exciting day over here because I just made my video live on my channel. A lot of you probably don't know that I have my own YouTube channel because I haven't uploaded on it for three years. I basically stopped when we started this channel because I couldn't, we didn't have the time to do both. Um, and then this channel just took off, so we've been focusing on this, but the same way that Louis has his own channel where he dives more into the things he's passionate about, DIY stuff and his fitness journeys and all of that, I really wanted a space of my own where I could share the things I'm passionate about, especially as I'm kind of rediscovering what those things are now that I'm a mom. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm Hopefully I'll be sharing things like more recipes. Um, I know I share them here and there on this channel, but maybe like full videos sharing what I eat in a week or something. Um, fashion content, thrifting vlogs, and just, yeah, more like vlogs and updates on me trying new hobbies and kind of rediscovering myself, I guess, now that I'm a mom. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm also nervous because it's been over three years. I don't even know if YouTube's gonna show my video to anyone because the algorithm gets very mad at you if you don't upload consistently. So if you are watching this, please go over there and subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on, and just give the video some love because I'm scared it's gonna have like 10 views. Um, but yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, we have just made it to the school, the local school right outside of Alegria. And basically they are in need of a lot of help, financial help. They also need help building a few things. Their funding is so, so limited from the government. And in the last year, they've doubled the amount of students in here and they have the same budget for food. They also, they provide breakfast and lunch for the kids. And yeah, basically they need some help. And some of the amazing neighbors in Alegria are very involved with the community. And they have asked whoever is available this weekend to jump in and help volunteer to build a few things, renovate a few things and just help out where we can. So we have just arrived we're here to help and we're also going to be setting up a fundraiser stay tuned because we need to figure out exactly what it will be but it would be amazing if we could get them some help especially because a lot the reason that there's so many more kids going to the school is because there's so many more workers moving to this area to build not only in Alegria but there's other communities and it's just really important to give back because now all their kids are going to the school and we want to help out as much as we can you know so we've just arrived let's see what we can do to help. And so what we're gonna do is digging over there to create a water channel. Okay. The water gardens are not working properly. We have to start to measure 
to create a channel alongside to here. Same so as this? Yeah, to connect with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we start to dig. Okay. I can dig. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Let's do that. Right, I've got my sun hat on because it's uh, gonna get hot today and I don't wanna get burnt like I normally do. I think I'm gonna try and find a pickaxe and then start helping them build this, this train. See why the workers here start at like five in the morning. Because it's only like ten and the heat is mental. Absolutely mental. What are you doing over here? Mixing up some cement, which I think is pretty good now. I don't see any other dirt. So we're building a, like a little retaining wall so they can put a concrete floor down, is that right? That's right. And the second little trough here is going to be for rainwater because we have this. So it's all about uh, trying to like keep the kids dry and keep the mud away as well because when the rainy season comes, woohoo, that's a lot of water. <laughs> we don't want it to be a lot of mud too. Where are we, Raya? So this is the one classroom, the only classroom, there's one teacher for all the kids between ages like five to what, 15 or something? Yeah. So this is a classroom, just checking it out. Yeah, I can't imagine having one teacher teaching so many grades and then like, how do you control that? I know. Oh, what's up? Such different like age groups and developments and exactly. needs that they yeah, have. Yeah, you're running like so many, you're teaching so many different things at once and trying to keep them all from fighting, I'm sure, all day and stuff. Yeah. What are you up to? We are helping pull out this trench. Nice. And then I guess this is where like the rainwater is going to run or something yeah. during rainy season. Nice. I managed to grab all my power tools this morning and I've just heard they need the circular saw for cutting some wood. See what's going on? We are building some shelves for their storage closet. Before, all the cleaning supplies were just sitting in a classroom with the kids, but now we're gonna actually make a proper broom closet and cleaning supply closet. Nice, safe, safer for the kids. Yeah. I'll show you where their current storage area is right now. It's literally yeah. right here, within reach of all the kids just playing. There's like probably like toxic chemicals and bleach and stuff there, but not anymore. Got it, 154, okay. Neo, what is going on? What is going on? So much to look at. People digging and cutting stuff. Neo, you're gonna be doing this kind of stuff. In a couple of years, you're gonna be helping Dada with your own little tool set. In three years. Yeah, in three years, he can have his own little tool set. We've got two of the shelves cut. See, he's just gonna uh, double check he got his measurements right. Yeah, it gave us like a centimeter of space. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's great. And, and it, then are we putting some big hinges in or something? Or not hinges, have, I mean brackets. Yeah, there's some big brackets they have already. That seems like Sick. a good height. So one, two, and three. Yeah. I love it. So this used to be the toilet? There used to be a toilet there and like the pipes weren't working and this is old. Like the guy that built my house, who's like in his 50s, that he went to school here. Wow. So it's pretty special. And I think he's gonna have a whole bunch of guys here helping and volunteering because he's it's close to his heart, yeah, right? Yeah, that's cool. It's so good to be able to like contribute back to the community because I feel like there's such a kind of um, stereotype around like people that move to other countries just being like like in it themselves. So. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, we're moving here for community, right? Yeah, and this, yeah. even though this isn't within our community, it still feels part of our yeah. community. It's part of the wider community, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I've just taken my shirt off. Look at how much sweat is on my shirt. I'm gonna leave it in the sun for a moment to dry, but that is crazy. They have 
kindly prepared us some lunch for all the workers. The screws that Sia used to put these brackets on, unfortunately were like two millimeters too long. So just to so no one cuts themselves on them, I'm gonna try and just take the ends off. The end We have successfully mounted three shelves. This is gonna be very helpful for all the cleaning storage and um, just keeping things out of harm's way. Oh. So good. Yeah. <laughs> we have had lunch back at home. The work party dissipated from the school where we were helping this morning. And we have come down now, we've been invited down to our local river, which I think is probably a 15, 20 minute walk from our lot, but we decided to drive most of the way. Oh, and we're just walking into the jungle now. I actually just spent about 15 minutes running around looking for our friends, because we'd never been down here before and I got lost, but I know the way now. You excited to go and dip in a river, mister? First time, put in. Do you like it? I think so. Just looking around. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is pretty amazing, considering it's the end of dry season, so this is like as low as the river possibly gets. It's pretty epic, check it out. What do you think, Neo? It's a waterfall. Is this his first ever waterfall he's seen? It's just a little yeah, one. Yeah, I think it is. Neo, look. It's a waterfall. <gasps> wow. <laughs> We're gonna go in here, in the waterfall too cold. Oh, it'll just take him a second to adjust, I think. Oh, it's chilly. Oh. It's a little bit cold for Neo, but I'm gonna dunk under and cool down myself. Woo! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's go, mister. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it, Neo? Wasn't that great? Right, I, I ran back from the river early because uh, my friend Vinicio, who's been trying all week to come help me with his digger, has said he's finally available. I don't know how long for, but I'm hoping he can come and help for a little while. It's gonna get dark in like an hour, so maybe he's only got an hour, but uh, may as well give it a go. The digger has shown up. He's moving a huge rock and he's gonna flatten that area a little bit more and then hopefully just uh, pull the container over a tiny bit. This is, this is kind of nuts with basically lengthening one of my bike lock chains with nuts and bolts <laughs> to try and make it long enough to tow the edge of the container. It's mad how strong these diggers are. He said, and it makes sense because it's, it's gonna be dark soon, but he said today they'll just help me get the container in place and then after Easter holidays, we can work on the, the land up there, which I was hoping we could get onto today, but at least the container will be in position. And then probably in the next few days, I'm gonna jack it up and put some concrete blocks underneath just to get some airflow underneath. I guess re restrict the amount of moisture and uh, potential rust that would form underneath and, uh, and also access for like, 
termites and bugs and stuff that might get in. Wait, check, check this bad boy rock out. This is amazing. Whoa. That is mental. It's crazy, man. Look at that gaping hole that the rock left. <laughs> Wait, honestly, he probably didn't need to even move that rock. It wasn't totally in the way. But I could see as soon as he knew it was there, he was like, I'm getting that. Oh, he just keeps on finding more and more rocks. This is amazing. I'm gonna use all these rocks as well. Moment of truth. Very sketchy, but. <laughs> Super sketchy. Ooh. Yeah, baby. See? That's it. Yeah. Good morning. We have just come to Eco Feria again, the Sunday market at this other community near us. And I'm excited because right now I'm very, very hungry and a lot of our friends are here. It's gonna be good to see them. Also, we have been struggling to find really good chocolate out here. Even though we're in Costa Rica, this is where cacao grows, there should be amazing chocolate. But at the grocery store, yeah, we've just been struggling. However, we've been told that here someone makes their own chocolate and apparently it's like the best vegan chocolate ever. So I really hope they're here today. We have left Ecoferia. We're doing our weekly grocery shop. We need a few things. Oh, including bananas. We have run out of bananas. It's very hot today. Makes me want to look at the ice cream. Get in the freezer. Get in the freezer. For bubbles. Yeah. Yeah, nice Neo. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we have just been chatting to some of the people that were organizing the school volunteer build day. We've been working on setting up a fundraising page. So if there's any way, if you felt touched by the story and just seeing it all, um, if there's anything you can give to help, basically there's so many things, but for example, they are only given like $130 a month on food and they're doing breakfast and lunch for all the kids. And a lot of the kids, that's like the only place they're eating, really. And they basically doubled the amount of students in the last year without doubling the budget. So in a lot of different ways with materials, you saw they only had a handful of toys, a handful of books. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then another thing, the cleaner, they don't have a cleaner. Um, they can't afford one. So one of the parents has been volunteering their time to come once or twice a week to clean, but that's not enough and they've never been paid. So there's a little bit that can go to actually paying someone to clean. And then also the cook doesn't really get paid very much at all. So anyway, all like the smallest amount can make such a big difference. Um, so if there's anything that you can give, it would make a huge difference. Yeah, if you want to join us, we're going to be donating monthly to support the school and like, mm -hmm. hopefully loads of other neighbors in Allegoria are as well. But um, yeah, it was, it was really touching to be able to go there and like even just volunteering for the day. But we're hoping like us being here and the time that we do spend here, I definitely want to be like supporting that school in any way we can, like whether it's volunteering, helping or funding or anything. Yeah. And the beauty of having a monthly donation, even if the, if everyone could just give like one dollar, a tiny amount, but if it's a monthly thing, then that's how they can actually employ a cleaner yeah. and all that stuff if they know that it's coming in every month. So yeah, it would be amazing. Um, it will be linked down below. Thank you so much. Cool. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Okay, it's properly raining now. This is exciting. Yeah, it's proper raining. The power turned off too. Yeah. Whoa.